Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about another ferrite device that is isolator. <clears throat> isolator is another type of ferrite device like your gyrator. Gyrator, isolator, circulator are three types of uh, ferrite devices which works with the principle of Faraday's rotation. Which works with the principle of Faraday's rotation. What do you mean by Faraday's rotation? This Faraday's rotation will be helpful in the operation of isolator, gyrator and as well as circulator. Some magnetic materials are being used and that magnetic material will rotate the incoming electric field that may be depending upon the type of ferrite material and the type of orientation we are using inside it. Okay, so that the electric field can be experiencing by 45 degrees clockwise or anti-clockwise, 90 degrees clockwise or anti-clockwise depending upon the usage of this ferrite rod. So, what do you mean by Faraday's rotation? Generally, Faraday's rotation is nothing but a linearly polarized wave when propagates through the ferrite in the direction of bias. The polarization undergoes radiation uh, rotation that is proportional to the length of the ferrite device. Okay. So, Faraday's uh, the principle of uh, the principle behind this isolator gyrator is nothing but Faraday's rotation. So now let us see how this isolator works and what is the basic uh, principle of this isolator. Isolator. So isolator, isolator name clearly tells that it isolates something. What it isolates? Isolator works only in the forward direction. Remember one thing, isolator works in only forward direction. There is no backward power. There is no backward power. Generally, this type of uh, isolator is generally preferred immediately after microwave source. Immediately after microwave source. Isolators are generally preferred immediately after microwave source in order to nullify the power reflected from any of the loading effects. That power reflected by the impedance mismatch will not enter into the source in the transmission line okay so isolator is nothing but see this is the isolator waveguide isolator with the two ports this is port 1 this is port 2 okay so port 1, port 2. This is the isolator. Isolator transmits the signal only in the forward direction. There is no power in the backward direction. Okay. That means it completely transfers 100% of signal from input port to output port. That means port 1 to port 2 and there is no signal coming back towards the source. It is mainly used in transmission lines to nullify the back power. Okay. Isolator isolator is a two port non reciprocal lossy device having unidirectional having unidirectional transmission characteristics transmission characteristics okay the important aspects the important aspects of this Passive device or first point when the wave propagates when the wave propagates from port one 
to 4 to 2 there is no attenuation there is no attenuation but when we are talking in the reverse direction there is 100 percent attenuation when the wave propagates from port 2 to port 1 the attenuation is infinity the attenuation is infinity that means maximum attenuation is there in the backward direction that means signal will not reach from port 2 to port 1 where we are using this type of isolator immediately after the microwave source remember immediately after microwave source in in your laboratory also microwave labs also if you are having a bench setup in that bench setup completely from source to load you will be having this isolator immediately after the microwave source klystron power supply sir, or magnetron oscillator whichever the source you are using immediately after the klystron source and klystron mount we are using this isolator okay that means the back power will be zero if any back power is there that will be terminated by the match termination and that will not go into this port one okay now let us see the operation of this isolator much detail using this diagram see this is the isolator inside structure how the isolator is having this is the input port and this is the output port it is a two port device it is a two port device which is having a non reciprocal nature that means uh, uh, from when we are talking 1 to 2 we are talking a different operation and from 2 to 1 we are talking different operation that's why it is non reciprocal in nature now let us consider the electric field which is in the upward direction that is applied at the input of this input port so when we are applying this type of electric field at this input how the behavior of the behavior of this electric field changes stage by stage until it reaches the output port let us see the output of this one the electric field first goes through this port and first it touches this twist first it passes through the twist what is the twist and what it will do twist is a 45 degrees clockwise twist 45 degrees clockwise c it is in the backward direction it is in that direction okay so that's why the electric field which goes through this twist will experience a 45 degrees twist here okay that means there is a orientation of 45 degrees in the electric field again when this electric field passes through this the oriented 45 degrees oriented electric field passes through this ferrite rod <coughs> this ferrite rod will give a faraday's rotation of 45 degrees that too in the clockwise rotation that too in the clockwise rotation that's why whatever the uh, 45 degrees made by this twist that again comes back to the original position see that's why again it came back to the original position okay that means the input electric field in which direction it is having the same orientation it will be having it even after passing through the isolator that means there is no change in the phase of the signal and as well as amplitude the same signal will be going to the output port okay this is what happens actually in the isolator in forward direction that means from port 1 to port 2 so we can say it is port 1 to port 2 okay now let us see what happens in the reverse direction so in the reverse direction that is from port 2 to port 1 it is this direction this one is in this direction now when the same signal the electric field how it comes out from the port to if you are giving the same signal same electric field with the same orientation in the upward direction if you are giving at the 
output port see first it touches this ferrite rod first it touches this ferrite rod what is the purpose of the ferrite rod here ferrite rod ferrite rod gives 45 degrees clockwise 45 degrees clockwise rotation so 45 degrees clockwise rotation that's why it comes like this it is the 45 degrees clockwise rotation after passing through this ferrite rod now again the same signal the oriented 45 degrees oriented angle that again passes through the twist the twist will give another 45 degrees because that is the 45 degrees twist so another 45 degrees will be made that is that's why totally 90 degrees will be occurred at the output now electric field is in the 90 degrees to the input orientation that is nothing but it is parallel to the plane parallel to the plane of the surface so electric field parallel to the plane is nothing but there is no electric component generally electric field component existed in the perpendicular direction perpendicular to the direction of propagation but here the electric field as it comes horizontally nothing but parallel to the surface of propagation that means electric field component is not there okay generally electric field component must be perpendicular to the direction of propagation but as it is parallel there is no electric field component that means no signal will be there from port 2 to port 1 okay so this is the actual operation of this isolator when uh, we are talking about the signal transmission from 1 to 2 and as well as from 2 to 1 in the next video i will explain the scattering parameters of this isolator thank you